What is going on today guys, Tomcat here, and today we are back in Spin Tires, taking a look at the new 1966 Chevy pickup by Spun. Now, this mod is actually, it's really, really nice, it's kind of reminiscent of some other mods that Spun has done in the past, but it definitely brings back that quality that Spun is always known for in his mods. Now, one of the things that you notice about this truck right off the bat is that it doesn't have any customization options, at least not in the version I downloaded. Maybe, may, I'm not sure if he's working on customization options right now, he might be, but um, the other thing with this mod is that it's actually quite fast. When, the, when the, uh, the automatic gearbox, when it changes up into some of the higher gears, this thing starts going, and the thing is, it's, I mean, like, like I said, it's already up to fifth gear, and it, it was jumping back there. I don't think I've ever jumped a truck at that little, um, little entryway to this mud hole before, but the nice thing about it is it's not, excuse me, it's not particularly, uh, particularly heavy or particularly kind of boat-like, so it's actually pretty maneuverable. You wouldn't, I mean, you wouldn't be maneuvering this around like you would, say, a, a UAZ or something like that, or especially a UAZ that's built for rock crawling or something like that, but the nice thing about this truck is that, like I said, the automatic gearbox is very quick to change up and get into some of the higher gears, but once you get into the mud, it's actually intelligent enough to change down immediately, but not all the way back down to first gear and make you start off um, from scratch again. Now, right there, I mean, sure, the truck kind of got wedged, but... You know, the automatic transmissions in spin tires are not uh, bulletproof, I guess. They're, they're, they're definitely not perfect, but they are good enough to where if you really tune one properly, it'll do very well for you. I mean, in this truck, because it has, it's got such a nicely tuned suspension, you can just head straight down the beach like this and have no problem at all, you know, jumping these, uh, these little dunes on the beach and not, not taking any, any damage whatsoever. And the thing is, the suspension, like I said, it, it just absorbs all of these bumps, no problem. And climbing? Yeah, this truck will do that. <laughs> it's got no problem at all climbing up whatever you put in its way. And in fact, let's see if we can get here without hitting any of these trees. I mean, at least hitting them enough to not, you know, not get any damage. Get over the side of this hill, come on! truck's got a nice balance to it, too. I mean, you can get it into some kind of precarious situations like that, and it handles them really well. It doesn't really complain. It doesn't really get all, uh, wobbly, I guess. Some of the trucks and spin tires tend to get a little wobbly sometimes when you put them in situations like that, but this one doesn't. This one has a really well-balanced center of gravity, and again, it goes, it goes to show what kind of quality you're getting from a Spun in Darkness mod, but at the same time, it makes this thing fun to drive because you're never really worried about um, the truck doing something that you might not expect it to do. And, I mean, when you're going through terrain like this, just general off-roading, kind of climbing over rocks and fallen trees, it does very well for itself. It doesn't really have anything that's going to get in its way. And even when it does, you know, jump or bounce, th the thing is the suspension is composed enough that you never have to worry about the truck doing something that's going to upset it at all, or going to upset you as the driver because it threw you off a cliff. Now, since we've got a little bit of a hill, well... I say hill, it's more of a mountain, but in in terms of this truck, trust me, it's just a hill. Because this thing will go right up it. it it's just going to do it. There's nothing, really nothing I, more I can say about the fact that it will look these hills in the face and do nothing except climb straight up. And really, you almost never have to use low range or, or high in this truck. You can just leave it in, in auto and it'll go wherever. And that, again, that's another, that's another really nice thing about the way Spun does his gearboxes, is the fact that when he sets them up, he sets them up to the point to where they are in t pretty much intelligent enough to the point where they can do whatever you're asking of them. I mean, like I said, if you wanted to do, if you wanted to climb up a hill, they'll do that. If you wanted to go flat out on a, on a you know, nice smooth dirt road, they'll do that. If you wanted to kind of go through a river, whatever, they, they will do whatever you want. Spun's transmissions are pretty much that good. And kind of slow it down just a little bit, so as not to- Whoa! Okay. Thing is, will it land? Yes, there we go. Come on, start the engine. Jeez, let's get going. But the thing is, it's so well balanced that it will generally land on its wheels if you roll it. Now, let's see if it's gonna- There are only a couple of trucks that have been able to make it through here, and I'm kind of- I don't know, I'm kind of like- 50-50 on whether or not this truck will actually make it through here because the rocks Generally are what hold a lot of trucks back in here the rocks and the mud pretty much a combination of the two But so far actually it's gotten a little bit further than the last truck we tested here 
Granted, it may not get any further than that, but even if it does, it's still a decent run. Let's see if we can back it up. That's always the question. If you can back up, then you can readjust the truck. If it's to the point where you can't back up, then you're kind of screwed, but we were able to get it backed up, so I think it's all right. It's digging in a little bit, but it's definitely got some grip. Thing is, there's, there's so much suspension articulation in this truck that you almost don't have to worry about the rocks half the time as long as you don't get them caught on the axles. And generally, even if you do get them caught on the axles, it will, it will get grip and it will pretty much pull the truck right over them. And see the automatic gearbox just staying in first, allowing me to catch traction somewhere on this hill. And then once it catches traction, it should just slowly start going up the hill. There it goes. And sometimes you do have to fight for traction with these trucks, but for it to be doing this well, it, while I, I haven't even taken it out of, um, out of the auto mode in this entire video so far, and I've had zero reason to do so. Only problem is I am playing on a keyboard right now. I'm not using my Xbox 360 controller at the moment, so I can't really modulate the throttle. But other than that, though, I mean, even though that's a little bit of an issue, it the truck has had no issues whatsoever so far. Aside from being slightly sort of kind of damaged. I'll get grip on the rock. I wonder if we can... Uh, that's not good. Oh, wait! It's catching a little bit of traction, and you can tell it wants to climb, but the incline is just a little bit too much, I think, anyway. I think we're going to need a different approach angle. And really, that's what off-roading is all about when you think about it, is the angle at which you approach your obstacle, the speed at which you approach your obstacle, the amount of traction that you approach your obstacle with. I mean, off-roading is a very... It, it, it's, it's actually pretty scientific when you think about it, because there's so much that, that you can... There's so many different aspects that you can, you know, work into a line that you really, when you start to think about it, it's a lot deeper than it looks. I highly doubt we'll be able to climb this without a winch. Oh yeah, we're not going anywhere over here without a winch. Well, no, I mean, the truck is fighting for it, though. The truck is seriously fighting for it, but we are absolutely going to need to use a winch. This thing pulled out of here. I mean, and when you add the winch into it, this truck can pretty much go almost anywhere if you've got an available winch point. Oh, crap. Can we turn it back the other way? Eh. Eh, I'm doubtful of that. Even if I put the parking brake on, it's probably gonna... Oh, no! It's gonna stay! Okay. Wow, I'm impressed with that. Let's actually winch from the rear may or may not be a good idea but we can give it a try sometimes it actually works it's slightly pushing us into the wrong into the wrong position in that tree but if we can get the wheel cut back the oh 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 no oh dear god we've gone the wrong way completely but actually I'm just now realizing, what would happen if we completely disconnected the winch right now? I kind of want to, actually. Power! The power was a bit delayed, but... And, and it wasn't quite as, um, I don't know, I would say that outcome was a little bit anticlimactic, but... At the same time, I definitely would suggest, uh... Oh, I mean, look at that. Look at that. I'm going to put the e-brake on right there. Look at how much this thing is flexing on that rock in the back, especially. I mean, th that amount of suspension articulation is incredible to have in spin tires, and it really does help out um, if you're trying to get if you're trying to get your truck to go places that a lot of these pickup trucks won't. But if you guys enjoyed this video, which I hope you did, then don't forget to leave me a like. Tell me in the comment section down below what you guys thought of it. And if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe for more. And I will see you guys in the next one. Talk to you guys later, and I hope you guys enjoyed.